remember the first moment I realized I needed to be in Green Building. I was taking a tour of the Bullet Center, which is a living building challenge certified office building here in Seattle. Uh, it makes all the energy it needs to use on site. It captures all the water it needs from rainwater on site, among a lot of other things, right? Uh, I thought this was probably the coolest thing I'd ever seen. It was really inspiring to me. And I knew that I needed to head into Green Building. Now at the time, I was working not in Green Building, but rather for a web startup that I had co-founded. Uh, the company was doing well. It was a good gig by, by most standards. Uh, I had a three-year-old at home, and my wife was pregnant with our second child. So I thought, this is a good time to quit my job. <laughs> my, not yet. My wife was uncomfortable about this, but uh, I, need, I knew I needed to find my passion and follow it, okay? Uh, so I spent some time at, uh, as a remodel contractor uh, before uh, I got a unique opportunity to work with Tadashi Shiga, as mentioned previously, at Evergreen Certified. Uh, and it's been a great ride. I've, uh, in the last couple of years, I've become a HERS Raider and a Built Green Verifier and a Passive House Raider. And I learn a lot and continue to learn every day. So I, I found a job in sustainability. Wife, happier. Um, at Evergreen Certified, we work with a couple hundred builders on a wide variety of projects. And uh, at some point, I met Ted. Ted is not your average builder. Ted, everything TC Legend Homes does is net zero energy. And if you don't know what that means, it's the, the homes make as much energy on site as they use in a given year. Not even a question for these guys. In fact, really what they're doing now is net positive, which means the homes make more energy than they need so that one could charge, for example, an electric car. Okay. So uh, along the way, uh, Victory Partners, uh, upcoming sustainable developer in Seattle, approached me uh, wanting to build two net zero spec homes uh, for the spec market. So I thought, of, of all the builders that could possibly do this affordably, it would have to be TC Legend Homes, so I introduced them to Ted. So that's the question tonight. We're going to take you through this, but can you build net positive, net zero, net positive affordably so that you can sell them for spec? Ted, take us through it. So a lot of people think that net zero energy home building has to be expensive, and complicated, difficult, time consuming. Um, as these pictures identify, that's of course the type of wall you would have to build if you were building a, um, a net zero home. But we think of it differently. So we innovate constantly to try to make net zero home building uh, efficient, cost effective, simple. Looks um, easier. Yeah, that looks easier. That, that's a diagram for a SIPS panel wall. There's really nothing else to it. Um, but, and so that, that's one of our main secrets. Um, so we employ a few different techniques. We have four guys, um, a small team. We build the house start to finish. We have three, um, three main work days per week. <laughs> three work days per week because if you work more than three days a week, you get tired. Um, <laughs> and we, so, and we have two main technologies. We use, uh, and then we have one one mission that kind of drives us to to do the whole thing. And so with our with our four man team and a dog and plus a dog, um, we. Uh, you know, we get to know each other, we like each other, we've worked together for a long time, you know, we get along, we have fun. Um, we're there for almost the whole project, and so, you know, we don't have to wait for, you know, different subcontractors to, to fill in their parts. We, we do most of it ourselves. Um, the three-day work week, we started doing that a number of years ago um, because of necessity, and then nobody ever really wanted to go back to the... <laughs> four or five day work week, we found we could kick ass for three days and then have a four day weekend. And you know, the productivity you get and the morale difference of working three days a week, you, we tend to only have good days. We don't have a lot of bad days. Even when it's pouring down rain or windy like the weather this last month, we've been outside having fun and working on the, the current projects we're working on. Um, and so the 
other, the next thing is the two, two technologies. So the, this is a picture of one of our, the heat pump for this project, the outdoor unit, the indoor stuff. It looks kind of complicated. There are a lot of pipes and pumps and tanks, but the main idea is that it uses ambient outdoor air to heat up water that it then sends into the house for, um, for space heating and for domestic hot water which is a lot of your home's energy use. And so we just take that, and this particular system is about four and a half times as efficient as um, you know, a regular electric water heater or furnace. Um, the current ones we're using are about six times as efficient. So the technology is getting better every year. Um, the other, maybe our, our big key secret, is using SIPs. So early on, we learned how to do SIPs. We, um, we got good at it. SIPS panels are basically like an ice cream sandwich with uh, OSB on the outside and styrofoam on the inside. Time lapse. It's <laughs> our time lapse photo of us building these two houses. Um, some of the main advantages of the SIPS, one, you have no vapor transport. So you have no problems or issues with moisture within the walls. You just keep it out. Um, the other thing is time to build. So we built these two houses in six days, which is, Two weeks for us, maybe one week for some builders out there. <laughs> but we only work three days a week, so. Um, <laughs> the, the other is simplicity. I mean, you can see how simple these are and how fast the panels go and click together. By the way, Bob the Builder, I think, uses SIPs, if any of you guys know about Bob. Um, also, all his houses have solar panels, which, you know, next time you watch, you'll see. But uh, um, Foam is very... Environmentally friendly foam. It's very environmentally friendly. So EPS foam is uh, the lowest toxicity. It has a global warming potential of zero. Um, it, uh, um, all the, you know, the panels are made in the factory pre-cut out, so there's virtually no job site waste for the envelope. And the factory can recycle almost all their materials on site. And so we get them all pre-cut out and we just click them together. And, you know, there's a lot of air sealing and mastic and, you know, nails and other things involved. but. Um, but uh, it's, it's pretty exciting. It is a big show. The, you know, the couple of weeks that you put up a SIPS house, it goes really fast. Um, it takes about a minute and a half. To, right? <laughs> a, mi a minute and a half. Roughly. And that's, these guys do really, really kick ass, though. Um, and there's Deanne right there. So. And so we worked closely with Sean at Evergreen Certified to make sure, for one, we were on track to hit our net zero because... You know, really, you have, to, you have to do a lot of energy modeling, which they did for us. You have to figure out, well, how big is your, you know, photovoltaic array going to be? Are we going to do solar hot water, which we did on these houses? How do we incorporate that? And, and so we worked with them with, you know, a number of blower door tests to make sure we were getting that air sealing we needed and, and hitting our target also of the Built Green Five Star, which is a, a high bar for us. We had to, you know, add a couple of things to our just standard building program to achieve. Yeah, so yeah, it's hard. Yeah, I, we worked with Ted early on in the process. Uh, I built an energy model uh, that created a HERS index. If you haven't heard of the HERS index, it's kind of like an MPG rating, except for your house. And in the HERS index case, higher numbers mean worse, more energy use, right? So uh, an average code-built home might be 60 plus, right? A brand new home you buy today, 60 plus, 70 maybe. Uh, as you can see, these homes were a uh, hers of negative six, which is the net positive aspect, right? So it's like driving a car that creates a little bit of fuel every mile you drive, which doesn't exist. Um, very energy efficient. And as Ted said, and as uh, Tiffany alluded to it, this, this wasn't quite a Tadashi disco party. There was less smoke involved. Still a good blower door test. This result is passive house level air tightness, so like eight times tighter than a code-built home. And that, re that results in uh, low energy loss and a comfortable indoor environment, right? Um, and as Ted mentioned, these are built green five-star homes. New five-star is pretty hard, people. Um, very hard to achieve. This is just a partial list of the credits you have to uh, accomplish on your job to make it to, to five-star. And I know you can't read them, and you don't want to. <laughs> um, so the question is, right, so can you build spec homes net positive homes affordably and make a profit? As you might have guessed, yes. Um, both of these homes were sold in, we should have had more interior shots, I apologize, but both these homes sold after being on the market for six days at, for about 975,000, which is above the asking price. 
And the magic here is this. My mic is dead, but the magic here is, oh, yes. The construction costs for TC Legend. 175 bucks for this one. That's all in, folks. That's all in, including the kitchen sink.